All right, next queen, look at her. This queen recently was on Drag Race All Stars and was serving it. Miss Roxy Andrews. Oh. I have such a drag boner for Roxy Andrews. Yes. <laughs> she is, I think, in my opinion, the best drag queen in the world. She's just that one stop shop, head to toe. She does it all herself. It's sickening. It's over the top, high, glamour, beautiful. She's stunning. She's just stunning. She's like a, a work of art all the time. And she's like that, that old school, that old school Texas pageant drag, but like with a new school twist. There's just something, I just love her. I love her, I love her, I love her. I've loved her forever. Like, she's one of my favorites. And now, when did you get to first meet her? Oh gosh, uh, probably at Continental. One of the times at Continental right. or the, around the pageant scene is kind of when I first met her and I was completely in awe of her and I'm still in awe of her, but I luck I'm lucky enough to kind of count her as a friend now. And I actually, I brought back Canada Continental, which is a prelim to Miss Continental that we hadn't had in about 10 years in Toronto. And I brought that back this last year and I brought her up to be the head judge. Wow. Yeah, which I was super happy she was able to do and it was really nice to have her there because she really is just one of my favorite drag queens ever i bet she would be a great judge she is she's great she knows what she's talking about she knows what she's looking at like and she's fair and she'll she's honest like she's she's roxy andrews <laughs> now you like when you saw roxy come out to be the lip sync assassin on all stars you know these days we expect a lot of tricks and we expect a lot of she didn't do a goddamn thing, yes. and I didn't care. Right, she's just served the performance. She, I didn't care. She could do, she, she's, it's, I think people get caught up in the shenanigans and the trickery. There are a lot of amazing drag artists who don't, do not, they don't have to move and can deliver an incredible performance. And I think Roxy's one of those. Like, she is a work of art. I could have watched, I just watched her for those three minutes and she walked around the stage. She did her thing. She did her reveal and I was here for every single second of it. Like, it, that's just not her gig. Like, her gig is the look. And I still think she's an amazing performer, despite the fact that she doesn't really dance a lot. I don't right. think that makes you, I don't think that qualifies you to be an amazing performer. And I think that's something a lot of the newer Drag Race fans are missing. They think it's shablams and dips and all splits and all of that stuff. And that's great, but it has to be done well and it has to make sense with the song. Yeah. But also if you can just, there's nothing more powerful than being able to stand there and just deliver an amazing performance without doing any of that. I think that's the mark of a true talent. Yeah, the presence. Mm -hmm, it's presence. Roxy so she has it. Andrews, thick and juicy. Did honey. I mention that I love her? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that ass, that body. Oh. When she revealed the thick and juicy and you saw her firm, tight ass, I was like, wow. I was, I, I, I kept watching it. And I was like, I'm fucking Carson. Because Carson the whole time was just like, <laughs> exactly. I'm like, that's, that's me. I think that's how we all felt. We were, like, oh, we were all Carson. Oh, look, beautiful. Yeah, incredible. 